Hi everyone, it's Eve Spade here with Collective Chickadee. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you a guest designer project that I did for Debbie at Ephemera Vintage Garden using the Lady Eleanor's Journal Kit. It is a total of 19 printable sheets. Six are image sheets for making the journal pages as well as six additional line sheets along with assortment of photos and other ephemeras that I'll point out throughout the journal. I was excited about doing this project, not just because of this beautiful printable kit that I was using, but because I was making this for my friend Chantel from Red Page Cafe. She also was a guest designer for Ephemera Vintage Garden, and so we decided that we were going to do a swap. And this is what I came up with. I constructed this journal with envelopes. I have been collecting I like to call it collecting envelopes. Others might say hoarding, but I am a collector. So I constructed this journal by using 14 of my envelopes that I've been holding on for some reason. So I'm excited to show you how I put this thing together. At the end, after I do a flip through, I will show you how I did that with the envelopes. Let's just go ahead and take a peek at this beauty. This is the top cover here. It is a little booklet with just lots of room for journaling. And the fun thing about this cover is this is removable. I made it with a little slot pocket here. So this slides right out. say that <laughs> as I struggle. There we go. With this little slot pocket here in this top envelope, it just fits right in there. I do have a back pocket and I found if I stuck stuff in there it was getting caught so I'm just going to leave that plain. So on the front cover here, I just use this little metal piece, I believe it's from a Tim Holtz, and some fake velvet. And inside are two tags that I made using the kit, little parts of it. In this journal, I did a lots of sewing and lots of little details. Here I have a Tim Holtz die cut and just bound it up with some thread. So like I said, this lots of room for journaling. This is elastic band, so it's removable. So when that gets filled up, that can be replaced. I'm just going to put this aside for now. And this is the top cover. This is one of the envelopes. And here I have a little another slot pocket. Here's a little envelope that I turn into a little billfold and little journaling spot. That just fits in here. Like so. This is the front page and I made a couple of long skinny tags using the kit. As you can see those are pieced together and then I stitched it on some tea dyed paper. I also played with the images so I separated the leaves and when I printed them out I mirrored it so you could have front and back because I really wanted the color of those leaves to show on both sides. And I also cut little pieces out of all the sheets so I could make pockets. So this is one of those here. And here's another little, little envelope. So this will, I'll count later, but there, <laughs> there are 14 envelopes. So here's a, another little pocket that I used the leaf from the front cover. And here's a little tag that I made with Tim Holtz embossing folder. You flip this through and one of the images from the sheets that I cut out. 
And here's the cute little guy that is also a little journaling spot. And I just made this for more journaling spots. And this is also from Ephemera Vintage Garden. But it is uh, a different kit. And this is part of this kit, this number. It's there. On the back side I have Chantelle's initials little pocket and in here is the little part of the set. All of my signatures I had tea dyed prior to printing out on them and I love how beautiful it turned out. I got to use a lot of stamping that I used the watercolor technique little stitching on the side with some tea bags and die cuts. But look how pretty that is. I love, love, love the color scheme. I decided that I wanted it to be the full length of the cover, so I did not cut down the pages. And with me stamping on the side, I really feel like it blended in nicely. And here's the center of the signature using one of the ephemeras from the set. Isn't this pretty? I love it. Okay, here is one of the ephemera pieces. And I used my scotch tape that I like to use with my alcohol inks. And somebody had asked me what colors I use. And I did put them aside for me so I can reach out. I use the butterscotch and also the ginger color and I just go ahead and get my scotch tape and just use the alcohol inks on that. Here's a little piece on the side waiting for me to use. So this is a little flip and I have some little die cuts that I just dangled together with some thread. I just wanted a little element of surprise there. And over here I have a little flip that I made using one of Eva's Zakova from Bohemian Crafting uh, tutorials that she had to make with envelopes. A little spot here for journaling. And this is what Eva had done using the envelopes and kind of made like a bit little billfold. So once again I brought in that leaf from the kit inside here I have one of the images with another spot for journaling that I made here with the belly band so I just attach that up there and another little tag that I made using scraps from this kit and another little slip of paper. What is this from? Let me check really quick. I just love this paper. It is from the K and Company. And I just thought it just worked beautifully with, with this journal. So that's just tucked back here. A little bit of lace and sewing. I don't know if you can see all the little details. Here's one of my favorite layouts in the journal. Up here I have one of these slides that I have a magnet for a closure to hold this booklet down. In here I have a couple tags that I made that goes here. There's another little pocket holding these pieces of ephemera that I printed on some graph paper. Use tea dyed and coffee dyed paper. A little flip through. Like I said, I really wanted to, lots of room for journaling. Use a little pocket with some cabinet cards. And one of the beautiful pages here. 
And I just have this attached. I glued this little tag on the inside of this pocket so it would just hold this little magnet with this closure. Another little pocket that I made from a CD envelope. Inside is another little tag that I made. This flips open, and these are two more envelopes. It's just one of these envelopes. I use the flap here to sew in. I slice the envelope so it would come apart. And I do have a little tutorial. If you want to check my archives, look for this. It's a Christmas card with a little purple mousse. And so this is basically what I had done for these. And I pieced the pages together because I love the layout that Debbie has designed here and I just wanted to make sure that I utilize it properly. And that flips over and the same thing. This is one of her layouts and I just kept it together. On this back side I have a little pocket by using one of the images from the set and I made these cute little 3D owls little tags that way Chantel can use them in other projects so they are separate little tags there's the owl set and I also did little butterflies and that is just from a little punch and I use little rings and just use threads so it would be nice and light. And in here are two more cabinet cards from the set. I thought those were kind of sweet. Something fun, something that you wouldn't expect to be in there. The next page I have a little pocket on the side, more journaling spots here. And I did this little ribbon where there's still movement. It's attached, but I just wanted it to be movable. A little more texture, more interesting. Another little pocket for journaling. And here is another one of the images. Do I have this over here? Let's see. So when Debbie designed this, she has all these little layers, and this is that piece here. And so I really wanted to duplicate that. I really like that. So I have a bunch of little scrap papers. I don't know if you can see the textures underneath here. And then I use one of the leaves, and I do have a little magnet closure once again. Another little spot for journaling. Just a fun little element to add. And this is also, it's a little bookmark that I used as a belly band on the eco dye paper. Number 16 with a little grommet. I don't know if you can see all the little details there. But pretty, pretty. Just use scrap papers. I was really happy. All my die cuts that I use, I use scraps and instead of using washi tape, I use just parts of pieces that I had here and there. More stitching of the tea bags and die cuts. Here's another center of the signature. And I put this little tab only on one side. That way it opens up nicely. For journaling with a little bitty charm on the side. Another little pocket here, and this is one of the full sheets that you get, but I just shrunk it to size. I really played with my printer and wanted to use those images as much as I could, and these are just little, little bits and pieces.
Another little pocket here. Little goose feather. Alright, this is another fun page that I really liked. Once again, I used that leaf and I made a little tuck spot to put these images in. Here's a little flip. This comes out. And I kind of got distracted. I started making this for this journal and then I ended up making, I don't know, like six or nine. <laughs> but I loved how it turned out. I just used all my little scraps that I had and uh, put them on here, kind of messy. Here's another one of those tablets that I thought just went nicely with here. I have a little pocket. This was a trifold, and I do have a little tutorial with some free downloads if you want to go check those out in the little pocket here with the envelope using, of course, one of the leaves from the kit here. And there's also another little slot up here. Did a little bit of stamping. And I have a pocket that I used part of the images like this where I would cut out and use as a pocket with a little bit of ephemera. And then up here, well, I'll take this out up here. These are the same leaves that I used up here. And I have another magnet closure. And inside is a little pocket holding one of those specimen slides. Isn't that kind of cute? I love that. So, this just gets tucked into this envelope here. I do have a little paper clip to hold it together. Oops. I got to put the goodies back in their pocket. All right, continuing on, tea dyed paper, watercolor stamping, little bits and pieces from the kit that I used here. Here's another little center pocket. This is one of the envelopes that came in the kit with a little postcard inside. And another piece for the kit that I turned this into a little cabinet card and one of those movement but attached ribbons like what I did over here. I just wanted to carry that through. It's just kind of a fun little element. And another part of the ephemera, more journaling space. And we're down to the last page here, and this is a little flip. And I do have a little pocket here, one of those leaves that I doubled on both sides, and a little pocket full of goodies. Into the back page with another same piece. show you that so this pocket let's see if I have it hold on I do so this is from ephemera vintage garden what is this, this is from the ephemera set so I don't know if you if you guys ever get this it has it so it's on both sides here so you can turn it into the center signer signature of your journal to hide where you stitched it or you can turn this into a two pockets. Let me just show you really quickly what I mean. So 
So, all I did was, maybe I should, how do I show you? So, I just put glue on both sides here. And on the bottom of the page, it ends up being a pocket on this side and on this side. I know it's nothing new, but simple little things like that just makes me happy where, oh, okay, got two pockets made just like that. So I wanted to show you how I did these, constructed this journal by using envelopes. So the front cover, this, this is the front cover. This is I did the back cover. And what I had done was put signature in between the two. I did have a piece of cardstock that I was able to glue this part onto the envelope. And this part of the cardstock ended up being a pocket. So this is basically what this is. Super easy. Oops. Gathered a tag there. Let me show you. So this is this part. And in between each envelope I had a signature. So here's the signature. Here's this part. Here's where I glued the cardstock onto this envelope. Signature, signature, this is that little side pocket, which would be this side pocket. Envelope, signature, where a signature would go in the cover, in, in the cover. Isn't that fun what you can do with paper? So this can turn into this. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope it inspired you to go check out Ephemera Vintage Garden and see all the different digital kits that she has. I do have a link down below for you to check it out. Also, I will link Chantelle's Red Page Cafe so you can see what she has created. And um, I am just so thankful that you took the time to come over. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And please check out the other videos that I have in my archives. So thank you once again. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those for me and I'll get back to you. Until next time, warmest of wishes. Bye.